Howdy, y'all. Welcome to Lake Street News. This is the last episode of 2023, too. Today we've got stories about football, the town of Ulysses, crime, and more. Let's start with something simple. Cornell University has chosen its football coach, Dan Schwanstrom. He was Ithaca College's football coach from 2017 to 2021. That story is probably really interesting to somebody that is not me. Uh, the town of Ulysses residents voted on Wednesday to block their local government from spending more than $200,000 on land, which is intended to be the site of a new athletic and recreational park. Around 65% of voters said no to the proposal. However, town officials still intend to try to go forward with the plans, even if not in the initially proposed location. One person was injured in a shooting that took place on Plain Street Saturday night. The IPD said the shooting happened because of a dispute between two people who knew each other. The IPD has arrested Emil Diaz, who has been taken into custody and charged with attempted murder, assault, and criminal possession of a weapon. Diaz has a court date in the city later this week. The Ithaca Police Department is moving forward with a program that will install license plate reading cameras in several areas throughout the city. The IPD will allegedly only use the cameras to investigate crimes and help find missing people and or vehicles. Alderperson Jorge DiFendini has said that while he is grateful for the effort to improve public safety, he remains concerned about, quote, centralization of data, Orwellian-like surveillance practices, and privacy concerns for individuals, end quote. Thank you for watching Wake Street News. Uh, have a great week. Bye-bye. That, that was for Shy. I think that was Love for Shy. Love you. <laughs> that was for Shy. <laughs> George. <laughs>